Hey guys, this is Josh F151 Tech back with another video. Um, and in this video, I'm actually going to be talking about a fix for the Google Messages RCS, um, not working on rooted Android phones. So let's actually get into this video. Um, so if you guys don't actually know or you guys aren't familiar with the channel, um, I've actually made like three videos before this one. This one's actually the fourth. Um, I've actually made three videos previously um, talking about the uh, Google Messages, RCS uh, messages not working um, on uh, rooted Android phones. Um, and I talked about, you know, I went more into detail, um, you know, about the uh, Play Integrity fix, which was actually the module um, that you would flash using Majisk. Um, in order to get the RCS messaging working on your rooted Android phone. Um, but uh, there actually is a new um, module that I came across for the, for Majisk that you can flash um, and actually get your uh, rooted Android phone um, working with the RCS text again. So I'm going to actually show you guys right now. Um, I'm going to go over here to the, uh, the Play um, Integrity Fork, it's actually called. It's actually from GitHub. Um, as you can see right there. Um, so this is actually a fork um, of Play Integrity Fix like I talked about in my other video um, on my channel or my other videos on my channel. Um, so the Play Integrity uh, Fork um, is basically like an updated, you know, version of the Majisk module that you flash. Um, it's like an updated version of the of the Play Integrity Fix. Um, you know, it's just called something different. You know, it's made by another developer. Um, unfortunately, the Play Integrity Fix module, I think, might have been abandoned um, because it hasn't been updated in like two months now, you know, and, and people were still having problems, um, you know, with the RCS messaging not working um, on rooted Android phones. So, um, I'm going to definitely leave the link down below in the description to this because this has actually fixed it for me. Um, and before I actually talk about this more, um, I'm actually running Android 15, the Beta 3, um, on my uh, Google Pixel 8 Pro. Um, and it's still working with this Play Integrity Fork uh, module. Um, so that's really a, that's a really good sign um, because I'm rooted. You know, obviously I'm rooted or I wouldn't be able to flash this Majisk module. Um, but um, I, I wanted to test out some uh, features in Android 15. And so far, um, I haven't had any problems. I've had really good battery life. I've had, you know, no, no problems with, you know, being rooted or anything. No reboots or anything like that or, um, you know, crash or anything like that so that's a really good thing um, but you know I, I definitely wanted to let you guys know um, that I am on Android 15 beta 3 um, and this is definitely a good sign that this module is still working um, you know on Android 15 beta 3 um, so that's definitely a good thing you know that means that it's probably going to work on Android 14 um, and lower so that's definitely a good thing um, so if I come down here I'll talk more about it um, as you can see right here it says uh, fixed play integrity and safety net verdicts um, allowing custom fields and props um, and as you can see right here he has been active the new developer of this um, it says three days ago it says uh, the app was uh, updated or the um, the module was updated last week um, and it says uh, change log last week and it says read me three days ago um, so if you come down here um, these are some you know some of the uh, instructions and stuff right here I'll read a little bit of it um, it says play integrity fork um, it says fork to be more future proof and develop more um, and then it says release version 9 um, release date last Friday um, downloads uh, latest le release it says 2.3 K which is actually quite a bit um, it says total downloads all releases 41 K which is definitely a lot um, and then you come down here and it tells you about Zygisk and Majisk um, and how you know however you're rooted you know it, it gives you the information um, of what to do you know you know however you're rooted whether it be Majisk um, you know Shamico or uh, you know uh, Kernel SU you know a patch stuff like that there's different um, you know methods out there to get root access now um, so you just have to follow the you know instructions and stuff um, it gives you a little bit uh, you know a little bit about the, the module and stuff um, but I will say this I'm not going to read all this or anything but I will say this um, I didn't actually think that it was working for me at first um, because I thought that I was running you know I thought it was because I was running 
Android 15 uh, Beta 3, um, but that's not actually the case. I What I did was um, I followed the directions, and then I came back in here, you know, looking for troubleshooting, um, and it mentions this down here somewhere. I don't really know where it's at. I'm not going to go through it all, um, but it tells you to clean the to clear um, the Google Messages, um, the Google Messages, you know, app cache and the uh, data, um, and then it tells you um, somewhere down here in the in the directions. It tells you or in the instructions, I should say, not directions, but um, in the instructions, um, it actually says that you have to wait 12 to 24 hours um, after clearing the uh, Google um, Messages, uh, the Google Messages Messages app um, cache and data. Um, it says even after doing that, you're going to have to wait 12 to 24 hours um, for the, you know, the Play Integrity fork to work, um, you know, on some devices. It depends, um, you know, it's, it's uh, it varies from device to, to device, so it doesn't, um, you know, necessarily mean it's going to take 12 to 24 hours to work. Um, it might work for you right away, but for me, um, it took like 12 hours to work because I actually looked on here um, and I was looking for troubleshooting um, after I flashed it, you know, I was thinking, oh, here we go again, you know, it's probably because I'm in, um, on uh, Android 13, I mean, yeah, Android 15 Beta 3, I keep saying Android 13 for some reason or thinking that, but um, I'm on Android 15 Beta 3, um, so I thought, you know, I thought to myself, well, um, maybe it's not compatible, you know, with Android 15 yet, but um, it is working now, you know, so I'm able to actually send my RCS messaging, um, and I haven't had any problems. I actually got it working last night, um, so it did actually take like 12 hours um, in order for it to work. I don't know why it takes that long. I don't know what, you know, is going on with that, but um, I, I've read down here, you know, in the description, it's somewhere down here, um, it says that, it, you know, you have to wait like 12 to 24 hours um, even after clearing the uh, Google messages um, you know cache and data I don't know what the you know I, I don't know what causes that but you know it is what it is so um, but anyway yeah guys that's basically the fix um, so I'm hoping that this developer is going to keep this maintained you know like I said with the play integrity fix um, it looks like unfortunately that was abandoned um, so you know I'm really glad that somebody make a made a fork of this um, like I said, I'll definitely leave the link down below in the description because this is definitely important. Um, and I said, you know, like I said, um, I am running the Android 15 Beta 3. Um, sorry about saying Android 13 Beta, you know, or, or, or Android 13. Um, I don't know where I really got that, but, um, so I am running the Android 15 Beta 3. Um, so it does work on this, you know, like I said, but give it like 12 to 24 hours, um, after flashing it, you know, and you should see a, um, message pop pop up that says RCS messaging um, is now active or it'll say um, to me it actually said welcome to RCS messaging like out of nowhere um, so it does work just trust me on that um, you know just give it some time like I said the most important thing to do is um, you know you can go in the Google messages app and clear the cache and data um, and then reboot your phone and then install the module um, the uh, play integrity fork module um, and another thing that I would actually do I would also um, clear the uh, Google Play services um, cache and data, and I would also uh, clear the Google Play um, store cache and data um, along, and um, also I'm thinking of another one that you might want to do, um, the carrier services, that's another one, I would do that, I would clear the cache and data um, of the carrier services as well, um, and you can also do the Play Protect services as well, I didn't really do that, I didn't seem to um, really need to do that, but um, you can if you, you know, feel better about doing that, you know, you can do that one as well. Um, but I'm really glad that they finally found something, um, you know, that seems to be working, you know, and like I said, I hope that, um, you know, this developer maintains this, you know, like I said, he's been active for three days, um, you know, it's been active for three days now, you know, about a week or so, um, you know, the, the module was released about a week or so ago, so, um, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely hoping that I'll keep this updated and stuff, um, you know, because like I said, it seems like the play integrity um, fix is unfortunately dead. So, um, you know, this is definitely good that this developer um, has made this, you know, work for the RCS messaging. So, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, I just wanted to get this quick video out there. And I will leave the link down below in the description. Um, and if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.